My friends, welcome to the Royal Rumble, Season 4, Episode Number 9, Part 8 of our Animation Rumbles for this season. Just a quick recap so far, this season, the winners have been Sergeant Slaughter, Vulture, Hulk Hogan from Rock and Wrestling, Eric Cartman, Moltar, Storm Shadow, Rat King, and Murray. The runners up have been Duke, Plastic Man, Goofy, Maui, The Monarch, Roscoe Pico Train, The Cobra Bat, and Bender. Hopefully, one of the runners up. Have been one of your favorites and you'll see them later on in the season so let's get this episode going at number one from south park we have starvin marvin or however they would do it when they found starvin marvin on tv and tried to bring him into south park and adopt him <laughs> so let's see who Starvin Marvin will be going against here on this rumble. At number two, we have from Angry Beavers, Norbert Beaver. Let's see. I have never watched the Angry Beavers cartoon. Um, obviously, everyone has seen South Park, so we all know about South Park. So, I could talk a little bit about South Park here and there, but I couldn't talk about Angry Beavers. So, I don't know what kind of character Norbert Beaver is, but that's okay. What a reversal from Norbert to start things off. An Olympic Slam from Norbert onto Starvin' Marvin. Starvin' Marvin is looking very, very weak in the beginning of this rumble. Number three from the movie Bolt. It's the main character, Bolt. That's all I got to say about him. Um... <laughs> Um, a lot of these characters, when I'm looking through the downloads, I'll look at as many animation characters as I can. Um, like I've said in the past, I have know of these cartoons, or sometimes I have to look up if these were real cartoons or not. Um, some I've seen, some I have not. Number four... We have Eddie from Ed, Ed, and Eddie from Cartoon Network, which, once again, was another cartoon I never watched. And Starvin' Marvin, Starvin Marvin was eliminated. What a clothesline from Eddie. Bolt and Eddie. Nor <clears throat> Norbert just kind of not really doing much here. Now, he's picking up the pace on Bolt Eddie and Norbert Frazia Frazia uh, from Dragon Ball Z is Frieza <laughs> wow I have major tongue twisting here today guys I'm just flabbergasted by some of these names or I'm just lost at number six coming in we have Gary the snail from South Park or South Park Jesus I'm sorry from Bikini Bottom from Spongebob Squarepants you guys are probably thinking to yourselves wow this guy cannot commentate whatsoever. Why does he even have a microphone in his hand 
and talking during these rumbles when all he can do is tongue twist. Just one of those days, I guess. But we will continue on. From Dragon Ball Z, we have Gamma number two. We got Bolt, we have Gary, we have Norbert, we have Gamma, we have Eddie, and we have Fraza. Is this it for Gary? Can Bolt get? No, Gary is going to stay in just a little bit longer, perhaps. Yes, he is. Number eight, we have Gamma number one. And Gamma number two, is he playing possum? What is he like just a statue? Are they doing some twin magic here to where they're gonna get confused and thinking that they're seeing double? Who knows? Maybe Gamma number two will just stand there the rest of the match until the end and then finally move and then win this thing. Well, Eddie is trying, but Gary clotheslines Eddie. Number nine from the amazing world of Gumball. Gumball himself is coming out. Uh, we have seen both Gammas in the past. We have seen Gary in the past. We have seen Gumball in the past. Um, I believe we have seen one or two of the Angry Beavers in the past, but I do not remember. I don't recall. And finally, both Gammas are moving. Gamma number two and Gamma number one are both down. Gary is down. Um, I can't tell. Oh, the Angry Beaver Norbert is gone. I can't tell um, at the moment which Gamma is stunned. Oh, number one is stunned. Number two is attacking his twin. That'll be interesting if they can get rid of everybody and then those two go after each other. Just one on one. That would have been nice if they were number one and number two. And Gary is going to go back to Bikini Bottom, back into his pineapple, and not continue on with this rumble. We got the Gammas, we got Eddie, we have Gumball, we have Bolt, and we have Frizza, Frizza, I guess. Hopefully Frizza can get eliminated soon so I don't keep tongue twisting his name. Number 10, all the way from Canada, we have Philip. Will Terrence make a, an appearance in this rumble? And maybe help out his good friend, Philip. We'll find out. Hopefully soon. We got one of the Gammas and Eddie. We got a spear from Gamma number one onto Bolt. Gumball in the corner. A Gamma is trying to get rid of Gumball. A Gamma is trying to get rid of Eddie. Philip is down. Frizza with a nice move here, yes. Number 11, we have Inspector Gadget. We have seen Inspector Gadget a couple times in previous Rumbles. There have been a couple where he has lasted and there has been a couple where he has not lasted. So far in this Rumble, none of these people that you've seen before have won their previous Rumbles, so this will be a good feather in their cap to win a Rumble for once and Eddie is stunned underneath the ropes Philip is in the corner Bolt and the Spectre Gadget Philip and Bolt Gumball going to Suplex City and Bolt has eliminated Philip Philip did not last very long in this rumble guys I'm sorry if he was one of your favorites Sometimes some of the favorites just don't last and then 
the unexpected do last. Like these gammas, they're lasting a little longer than I thought. And Inspector Gadget is safe. Eddie and Bolt. Gumball is going to go after one of the... Ooh, Gumball's down. Gamma number two. And Gamma number one. Gamma number two is after Gumball. And now Gamma number one is going to eliminate his brother. Yes, Gamma number two is done. Can Eddie take advantage and eliminate Gamma number one? Or will Gamma number one survive? Is Bolt gone? I think Bolt is safe. But nope, Gamma number one is gone. What a move from Inspector Gadget. Inspector Gadget is showing that he is ready for this rumble. And he means business. Well, look at who is at number 12. Someone that knows how to win a rumble. In season number one, Plankton won the most rumbles out of anybody, but he did not win the championship rumble. I believe his record is three victories in the rumble. Uh, season number one, obviously, I was just starting out, and I just kept bringing in people over and over and for some reason Plankton just kept winning will Plankton win his fourth rumble and make it into his second championship we're going to find out, out hopefully soon uh, let's see Daggett Beaver just came in from Angry Beavers Eddie with a nice Neckbreaker. Gumball with a nice move on Gadget. Gumball and Gadget once again. Gadget. What a face slam from Gadget to Gumball. Plankton knocks down Gadget. Eddie and Gad er, Eddie and Plankton. Number 14. We have Emmett. Because everything is awesome. From the Lego movie. For a Lego character, he's pretty tall. But not doing very well for himself. Inspector Gadget may have his number. Everyone's going after Emmett. Did Emmett do something in the back to piss these people off or what? But Emmett is now kind of regrouping in the corner and thinking of a different strategy. Is this it for Plankton? Can Plankton be eliminated? No. So, in this rumble so far, right now, we have Gumball, we have Plankton, we have Bolt, we have Eddie, we have Frieza, we have Inspector Gadget, Daggett Beaver, and Emmett, and Bolt down. Gumball is stunned. What a move from Eddie onto Emmett. And is Eddie done? No. Daggett saves Eddie. What a power slam from Inspect Inspector Gadget onto Gumball. Plankton and Inspector Gadget. And Inspector Gadget with a choke. Right into the breadbasket and no. Plankton is not ready to be eliminated. What a move from Gumball to stun Emmett. And it kind of tired Gumball out there. The gumball kind of shakes cobwebs out, and he is back up, and he's ready for some more. Plankton and the Angry Beaver. And Plankton gets his first elimination. Inspector Gadget eliminates Bolt. Emmett tries to do a move. Frizza just got eliminated as well. What a slap from Eddie to Emmett. Inspector Gadget into the corner from Plankton, but reverses that move. We have Inspector Gadget, we have Plankton, we have Gumball, we have Emmett, and we have Eddie in this ring. And Gumball is done. Plankton and Inspector Gadget, and in, is Gadget done? One hit, two hits, and 
no, Inspector Gadget will not surrender and be eliminated. In the corner, we have Eddie and Plankton, and what a move, Inspector Gadget just rammed his shoulder right into Plankton's gut and injured both Eddie and Plankton. Number 15, we have Marvin the Martian from Looney Tunes, all the way from Mars. Let's see if he can take over, instead of taking over Earth, let's see if he can take over this rumble. Plankton and Emmett, Eddie and Marvin, and Inspector Gadget shaking the cobwebs out. Eddie knocks down Gadget. Plankton is going to eliminate Emmett. Yes, Emmett is done. Not everything is awesome for him. From the amazing world of Gumball, we have Gumball's brother, somewhat of a brother, Darwin, his adopted brother, I guess you could say. Gumball, great cartoon, very funny. And well, Marvin just got eliminated pretty fast. So Marvin will not be taking over this rumble. He's got to go back to Mars and rethink his strategy. Number 17. From up, we have Russell. We have seen Russell a couple times in previous rumbles. Uh, pretty much the Disney rumbles that he has been in. <clears throat> How long will he last? And Eddie is eliminated by Plankton. I believe that is two eliminations from Plankton. We have Plankton. We have Darwin. We have Inspector Gadget. And we have Russell after each other. Number eight, 18. We have Ed from Ed, Ed, and Eddie. So all we need now is Ed. -d or however they said his name in that cartoon. What is Darwin doing? He's waiting for his target and he misses double X handle onto Darwin. What a move from Ed onto Russell, Plankton, and Darwin, Inspector Gadget, and now Darwin. And here comes Ed Double D from Ed, Ed, and Eddie. Will the Eds see each other and go after each other or will they double team everybody and get everybody out and then be the final two in this rumble later on? That'll be interesting. Russell does not want to get eliminated quite yet. What a move from Russell onto Ed. Eddie knocks down Plankton. Inspector Gadget just is punching air. Now, Inspector Gadget in a submission hold. Number 20, we have Kick. But uh, what's. Badowski? Wow. Some of these names, I tell ya, are major tongue twisters. So. We are just gonna go with Kick with him. Ed, Ed, Ed is after Eddie. Or, I'm sorry, Ed is after Ed. Ugh. <laughs> Plankton and Inspector Gadget once again. Where are we at? Number 21, guys. And it's Dr. Zoyberg from Futurama. And Russell is done. Way to go, Darwin. And is Ed done? No. Inspector Gadget. What a move. What a reversal from Inspector Gadget. Ed. Ed. Against each other. Ed. And Dr. Zoyberg. Inspector Gadget and Kick. Darwin and Plankton. Now Plankton and Ed. Ed. And Darwin. Inspector Gadget, is he done? Is Kick going to eliminate Inspector Gadget? No. And Inspector Gadget is finally done. Plankton, I believe, is his 
third elimination. So, so far, I believe Plankton is the MVP for being in the longest and the most eliminations in this rumble. One of these days, I'm going to have to write down and rewatch some of these and write down all the eliminations and see who MVPs really are in these rumbles. Number 22 from Pokemon. We have the main Pokemon himself, Pikachu. He goes right after Darwin. And now Darwin gets out of it. Is this it for Plankton? Can Ed get rid of Plankton? No. What an arm drag from Pikachu onto Kick. Plankton and Ed. Darwin and Plankton. Zoidberg and Ed are down. Rethinking their strategies. Darwin in the corner. Can Ed eliminate Darwin? Is he going to turn him? No, Darwin is not ready yet. We have Ed and Darwin. And at number 23... We have a person that wants to be a real boy, Pinocchio. Maybe he can tell a couple lies, grow that nose out, and use that as his advantage. And Darwin was eliminated. So he is done for pretty much, I would think, for the season. Maybe he'll be back next season. We just don't know. And is Ed done? Can Kick eliminate Ed? We have Pikachu against Zoiberg. We have Ed and Plankton. And Pinocchio is trying to determine who he wants to go after. Zoiberg and Pikachu. And Kick is... Is he going to get eliminated? And... Elimination number four from Plankton onto Ed. So now we just have Ed left from Ed, Ed, and Eddie. And at number 24, we have Snoopy. You guys are like thinking, wait a minute. You've said in the past on these cartoon rumbles, these animation rumbles, that you're not bringing back anybody. I have said that to you guys, but we had evil Snoopy. We didn't have regular Snoopy. So, I say that Snoopy is allowed to be in this because Evil Snoopy was totally different than regular Snoopy. So, congratulations Snoopy for being able to come into this rumble. And what a miss from Pinocchio. Knocked himself right onto his butt. And we're at number 25. We have Captain Planet. This is Captain Planet's debut rumble. Um, this is Kick's debut rumble. And I believe everybody else has been in rumbles in the past. And is Captain Planet done already? Can Plank... Oh, Pinocchio decides to help Plankton try to get rid of Captain Planet. But no, Captain Planet is not ready yet. He has some cleaning up to do in this rumble. It's not cleaning the earth, but he can sure clean up this rumble and take a victory. Zoiberg uh, um, interrupts the elimination try on to Pikachu. Now we have Pikachu and Ed. We have Plankton and Zoiberg. We have Pinocchio, Snoopy. We have Kick. And we have Captain Planet. Pinocchio and Kick. Kick kicks Pinocchio. Snoopy in the corner. Zoiberg, can he lift him up into the corner there? Or is Snoopy going to prevent it? I, yes, Snoopy does not want to get lifted up and get eliminated yet. But he's going to have a hard task with that with Plankton. What a move from Pinocchio! That came out of nowhere! And it almost stunned Plankton, but it sure got him to kind of regroup himself there wow way to go Pinocchio Snoopy and Pinocchio Captain Planet and Pikachu we have Ed and Pikachu Pikachu blocks Ed and Zoiberg has kick in a submission hold 
Man, Pinocchio sure does not like Plankton. They've been sure going at it for a couple minutes. And Zoidberg is done. Kick has eliminated Dr. Zoidberg. Oh, Kick has his sight set maybe on Plankton? No, he decides to go after Snoopy. Pinocchio and Captain Planet. Ed and Pinocchio. Pikachu's got to rethink his strategy. Captain Planet, once again, underneath the ropes. Maybe that is a smart idea from them. Because the longer they're on the ground, the less chance they have for being thrown over that top rope. Is Snoopy going to get rid of Pinocchio? Is this it for Pinocchio? Or is Pinocchio going to hold on just a little bit longer? Pikachu from behind onto Captain Planet. Ooh, Pikachu just did not have the strength to hold up Captain Planet. And Plankton just eliminated Ed. That's, what, five eliminations from Plankton? Plankton wants this victory. He hasn't been around for a couple... And Snoopy just got eliminated. Uh, Plankton has not been around for a few rumbles or a few seasons. And he is back and he is ready. And Terrence just came in. Can he last longer than his good friend Philip? Well, if he stays under those ropes, I think he could. Plankton and Captain Planet backstabber onto Captain Planet from Plankton. Plankton with a small drop kick onto Kick. Pikachu and Pinocchio. And Pikachu eliminates Pinocchio. And Terrence. Oh, can Terrence eliminate Pikachu? No, Terrence got eliminated from Pikachu. And Plankton, at another elimination from Plankton. I believe that's number six, and he eliminates Kick. So in the ring right now, we have Captain Planet. We have Plankton. We have Pikachu. And we have Pussy Boo. And Plankton's done. Pikachu has done the impossible. That is the big upset. Way to go, Pikachu. Wow, I really thought Plankton was going to take this rumble. But he is not. At number 28, we have the Pink Panther. So here's a little joke for you guys. What did the Pink Panther say when he stepped on an ant? Dead ant. 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 Ha uh, sorry, that was a real bad joke. I just wanted to see if I can get any kind of humor out of you guys. So, um, let me know in the comments if, out of all these animated um, rumbles that I have done, if any of your favorites have won, if any of, any of your favorites have been in this rumble, or if you've been kind of disappointed in the winners so far, or if the runner-up so far were one of your favorites to win and that you're hoping that one of them will win when they come back. So we have five people in the Rumble. Maybe four. Yes, we'll still have five. Um, here in three, two, one. Number 30. Dorfin Schmertz from... Um, Phineas and Ferb. Everyone loves Dorf and Smurts. Um, when watching Phineas and Ferb, that's the only reason I'd watch it is because of him. Just loved when they were going to his place, his little theme music he had, and then every time he saw Perry the Platypus, he'd be all, Perry the Platypus! And always telling Perry his plans and his plans would never succeed. Dorfin Smirts was a really cool character. I would just love to see like a series just of him. So we have in the ring our final six members of this rumble. We have Puss in Boots. We have the Pink Panther. We have Dorfin Smirts. We have Stitch. We have Pikachu. And we have Captain Planet. And I'm sorry I didn't shout out to Stitch when he came in. He kind of snuck in this rumble when I was talking about something. So, 
Stitch is in this rumble. Pink Panther is rethinking his strategy. Pikachu and Stitch. We have Puss in Boots and Captain Planet. Dwarf and Smurts is down. We have Captain Planet in the corner. Puss in Boots with a drop kick, but did not affect Pikachu. P Ooh, Captain Planet misses on a, a spear attempt on the Pink Panther. Pink Panther is outsmarting Captain Planet at the moment. Dorf and Schmidt. Dorf and Schmitz knocks down Stitch. And the Pink Panther is done. We have the final five in this rumble. We have Puss in Boots. We have Dorf and Smurts. We have Stitch. We have Pikachu. And we have Captain Planet. Out of these five, which one is your favorite? Which ones are going to be the final two? Which one's going to win? And which one will go on to episode 30 of the season and have a second chance? It's hard to predict, but I'm going to go with Captain Planet and Pikachu for the final two in this rumble. And Dorf and Smurts is done. Stitched down. Puss in Boots is down as well. Submission hold on from Captain Planet onto Puss in Boots. Pikachu just kind of chilling. Okay. Pikachu just dropped kick the air. What a botch on Pikachu's part. And Stitch throws Pikachu in the corner. Is this it for Pikachu? Did I predict wrong? Is And I did predict wrong. Pikachu is done. Is Puss in Boots done? Well, maybe he was, but Stitch prevented it. We have seen Stitch in, a pre in previous Rumbles. I do believe he did win one, but that was Buff Stitch. And this Stitch is not Buff. He lost all his muscle mass. This is just regular Stitch. So, will this Stitch win it? What a DDT from Captain Planet on the Stitch. Puss in Boots stunned. Captain Planet turns him around and goes right after the leg. He's going to take out Puss in Boots' leg. Backbreaker from Captain Planet on the Puss in Boots. Stitch back up. Captain Planet, is he going to eliminate Puss in Boots or is Stitch going to um, interrupt it? Stitch almost interrupted it, but Puss in Boots countered. And Captain Planet down. Puss in Boots and Stitch. Now Stitch wants to try to eliminate Puss in Boots. If I was Captain Planet, I would just kind of stand back. He interrupts the elimination because I think he wants to eliminate Stitch. I don't think he's happy with Stitch. And the Exploder from Captain Planet onto Stitch. Your final two are Puss in Boots and Captain Planet. Can Captain Planet clean up this rumble, make this rumble nice and clean for the environment? Or is Puss in Boots going to look all cute and then show that he is victorious? Well, out of those, the finals, I did say Captain Planet was going to be in the finals, but I thought it was going to be Captain Planet and Pikachu, not... Captain Planet and Puss in Boots, and Captain Planet is done. Puss in Boots up top. What a move from Cap er, on to Captain Planet from Puss in Boots. And Puss in Boots has the opportunity of a lifetime here. Pick up Captain Planet and eliminate him. I believe this is going to be... No, maybe not. I was going to say I have a real strong feeling this was going to be Puss in Boots' victory. But is it Captain Planet's victory? Can Captain Planet do it? And Captain Pl no, Puss in Boots prevents it. Puss in Boots uses his agility there, his cat abilities, to save himself. Captain Planet with a kick to the breadbasket. Now Captain Planet with a ankle lock type move onto Puss in Boots. Is Puss in Boots going to tap? Or will he escape? Puss in Boots 
has escaped the move, but what kind of damage has been done to his leg? Puss in Boots does not look like his leg is doing very well, but that's not slowing him down. And what a move from Puss in Boots. I think this is it. I think Captain Planet is done. No. What a move. Puss in Boots is showing some real impressive moves. Oh my goodness. Are we going to see the people's elbow from Puss in Boots? No. Oh, what a counter. Captain Planet lifts up his knees to prevent that moonsault from Puss in Boots. And what a drop kick from Puss in Boots, but did nothing to Captain Planet. What does Captain Planet have up his sleeve? And Puss in Boots is done. Captain Planet has won his first rumble. And this was his debut rumble. So we will see you, Puss in Boots, in episode 30. Because you are the runner-up today. And maybe you'll have another chance to see Captain Planet and get your revenge in the championship rumble. If you win your rumble and meet Captain Planet in the finals. But until then, congratulations to Captain Planet. You made it to the finals. And we'll see you at the end of the season, Captain Planet. Once again, congratulations. And thank you guys for joining us today. Hope you enjoyed this one. We'll see you in the next video. Take care, YouTube.